If you aren't walking like a speed walker first thing in the morning, what are you doing with yourself? <laughs> What's up? Now I'm out here doing my morning walk and uh, my digestion has been absolutely amazing on this uh, raw vegan journey. And one of the key factors that's, that's having an impact on it is stopping eating at eight o'clock. Uh, stopping eating at eight o'clock and not eating anything again until six or seven. So that allows the body 10 hours to be able to get its business done. And uh, I find out my, my, my digestion is a lot more consistent, a lot more, um, yeah, a lot more consistent whenever I allow uh, eight, 10 hours, 10, 12 hours to, to surpass before my next meal. And I've been on this lifestyle for a long time, so, and I've been monitoring myself for a long time. So I know the way my body works. And trust me, from my experience, Allowing yourself 10 hours, 10, 12 hours, ideally eight to six, eight to six, no food, no waking up in the middle of the night and eating. None of that is the best, one of the best ways to develop a nice routine where your digestion is consistent. So I actually picked up some dates, like these little date packet things. Uh, they're like blocks, so the dates are like, in actually like block form. Uh, that's what I'm what, that's what I'm throwing in the blender today so I'm just blending it and then I'm gonna add more water to it just to make it more hydrating <laughs> also added in a touch touch of cinnamon a sweet touch of cinnamon and a pesto That is good. <laughs> if anyone's ever seen the one meal, the, the one meal a day vegan, they'll, they'll understand that reference. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> So let me share with you some interesting things I've noticed. Uh, synchronicity, I've seen that whenever I speak something into existence, like I love myself, I love the people I'm around, today's going to be a great day, um, I'm going to experience great love, great abundance today. My reality matches that. Like, I, I seem to be seeing the connection between my thoughts and the reality a little bit more. It's quite interesting. And I'm really enjoying the, the salads, man. I'm really enjoying the salads. I haven't added salt to anything. And I think that is actually helping me appreciate the actual nice flavors of like the tomatoes and the mixtures of carrots and stuff like that. So two things I've noticed. And um, I'm not ever hungry at all because I'm feeling up on the dates. You know, some people are going to be doing this raw goods and they're not going to be making smoothies like this. They're going to be living on like two bananas. And uh, I don't know, maybe find it harder. At the moment, I'm not finding it hard at all. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to enjoy this. Stay tuned for the next meal. Mm. Another one. I really should just invest in a blender, a bigger blender. <laughs> and what my sister is making. Oh my goodness, watermelon. You know watermelon is good whenever you see how like bright red it is. Oh my goodness. I think I might steal. I think I might steal it and just use it. From work, and look what I picked up, guys. Picked up some bag of peas. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This is what happens whenever you have peas at the fruit and veg shop. Fresh peas. Oh my goodness! I love working at a fruit and veg shop. It has its challenges, but it also has its rewards, man. My goodness, and I feel like it definitely fits my healthy lifestyle ethos. If you get my drift. 
Diving into the salad from earlier. Oh, oh bro, huh? Hmm. Take two. Dive in fresh in to the salad. Hmm. I was literally going to add tomato puree to this, but then I was like, no, try to keep it 100% raw. Now I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Boom. Done. Done.